video today we're going to be going over a valve adjustment on the Mac AI 400 engine. We've already got the valve cover off as you saw previously. Uh, we have cylinder one at top dead center um, and cylinder number six is at what we call valve overlap. Um, so we'll be doing cylinder one both intake and exhaust. Cylinder two, intake. Cylinder three, exhaust. Cylinder four, intake. Cylinder five, exhaust. Then we're gonna rotate the crank 360 degrees to get cylinder one at uh, valve overlap, cylinder six at top dead center. And then we'll do the opposite valves working our way back forward. So stay tuned and enjoy. So as you can see, we have the rocker arms on cylinder one loose. Um, this one is the exhaust and the intake. And we can tell that because down here underneath the rocker arm between the push rod and the spring, it is stamped into the cylinder head exhaust. And then over here, it has intake. So, exhaust intake. Also, with these engines, there's a compression spring here on the exhaust push rod um, that is used to help take away some of the clatter, uh, give you a quieter engine. So, over here we have the tools that we're going to need, minus the feeler gauges. Um, and I have written down over here on my paper. Uh, what the specs are, it's also available here on the, the uh, data plate, sticker, whatever you want to call this. You have the exhaust uh, measurement here and the intake. The exhaust is 24 thousandths and the intake is 16 thousandths. It's pretty worn so you can't really see it in on here, um, but you can also find it looking it up in the manual. So here's our feeler gauges. I've got the 24 thousandths on this side and the 16 thousandths on this side. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna check and make sure these fit in the correct slots with the uh, correct amount of tension on them All right, so we're gonna start on the exhaust I'm gonna Lift push down on that and uh, Right there you can see we have a little bit of drag on it Stick that in there we'll run this adjusting screw down while we uh, are checking to make sure the drag's still there. If you tighten that up too much, it'll lock this uh, feeler gauge in. Like it's about to right there. So we'll back that off just a little bit. So we still have that, that uh, drag. And we'll run that nut down and tighten it just so it doesn't move we'll come back through once we've adjusted them all and uh, torque those down to the proper spec and you can see here this has a, a lot of room it's a lot it's a lot looser than it should be you can actually, you can fit the exhaust uh, spec in there with minimal drag. So that's way too loose. So we're gonna put our 16 thousandths gauge in. Run that set screw, checking for drag.
and then lock this one down. So then we're gonna move over here to our cylinder two intake. And this one is also pretty loose. And right there is the proper uh, drag that we need. Alright, so now it is time to turn the engine over a full 360 degrees. You can see right here we have our uh, timing mark. You can see 1 and 6 are at top dead center when these are lined up. Uh, we have 2 and 5 would be at top dead center and valve overlap here and 3 and 4 down here. But the way we're doing it, we're just going to do a full 180 or a full 360. Get six at top dead center, one at valve overlap, and we're going to do the opposite valves from six forward at that point. All right, so now we have loose rockers on cylinder six, loose intake, loose exhaust, loose intake, loose exhaust. And then cylinder one is tight, it's on valve overlap. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna do the same thing, just starting at the back and then working forward. So let's see where we're at it's almost there just needs to be snugged down just a little bit to get that right amount of drag all right there is good So we're done with the feeler gauges. Now we have to torque these uh, nuts down to spec, which because this is a training engine is only going to be uh, 23 foot pounds. However, uh, you know, if this was actually in a truck, it would call for uh, 45. So we're only doing it to uh, half torque.
these are set, we will be putting the valve covers back in place and then torquing those down in a manner similar to doing head studs or head bolts, working from the center and moving out. So with this being a two piece head, it has two valve covers. Uh, so we'll be starting on this one and this one, then moving our way around to get a proper and even seal. These valve covers on, typically they would call for 16 foot pounds. Uh, however, like I said earlier, it is a training engine, so we're only doing half torque. So we'll be doing a, uh, a whopping eight foot pounds. that's done we will uh, go ahead and rotate the crank it make sure it does two complete rotations nice and smooth any popping didn't hear any push rods bending so everything is set the way it should be thanks for watching have a good day